Hello. Well, here we are in London with uh, famous Big Ben overlooking my shoulder here. Uh, but a few months ago, we were thousands of miles away in South Africa, which was our very first ever trip uh, to that continent. Uh, we did three concerts at the Sun City Super Bowl. So please join us now as we go back there for a unique, interesting, and I think you're going to love it, trip to South Africa. We'd only just arrived from London and the first thing we wanted to do was to visit the vast township known all over the world as Soweto. The shanty town is home to millions of black South Africans and lies just a few miles from Johannesburg's city centre. But the school says for me. Yeah, school is out. School is out? Yeah. <laughs> Great. So what's everyone's names? I'm not coming to go back. Come on up and Mapule. Mapule, I'm John. We joined Lubaba. Marie, Justin, Mapule. Yeah. We're Lubaba. Andy. 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 Hello. Hello. No, no. Andy. 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 Clegger, In the townships, they have schools, shops, and even a beauty parlor. They even have an open-air market, where everything from fresh fruit to live chickens is for sale. from Paul Seedens. Here we are halfway through the week, but what a splendid day it is, because with me in the studio, the legendary Moody Blues, you'll be seeing them in concert this coming weekend. We have a number of dynamic shows for you. Um, my guests, I was told earlier, would be Justin Hayward and John Lodge, but as a bonus this morning, it's lovely to have you, Ray Thomas, with us as well. So Thank you very much. Welcome to the three of you. Thanks. How do you guys manage to work together for so long and so well? I think it's just down to the music. You know, when we got together, we uh, we got together to make music, make Moody Blues music. And I think uh, whatever we do individually and who we are individually, when we get together, you know, we are the Moody Blues. It just becomes that, you know, and it's something very special. Audiences, I'm sure, are pretty much the same all over the world. But have there been any particularly funny moments on on stage? Anything that you can look back and say, hey, that was absolutely hilarious. Well, we could tell the, the leg. The leg one. The leg one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us about the leg. Well, we, 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 caught, we were performing in somewhere, I can't remember, in the States, and uh, we saw this chap winging something over his head. And Justin looked towards me and I looked towards him and we started to dodge a little bit. Is he going to let this thing go? It's quite huge. And finally it came flying through the air like some weird kind of boomerang. And it landed on, on stage between Justin and myself. And we looked down and it was somebody's artificial leg. And he's had a sneaker and a sock on it. <laughs> SAFM 104-107, I'm Mike Mills, this is Art Speak, a great pleasure to welcome Justin Haywood, John Lodge and Ray Thomas of the Moody Blues. Guys, welcome to South Africa, great to see you. When we, when we eventually started playing our, our music that was true to ourselves, this is the sound of Europe today, I need to get a band to do it. I 
Ну, а что, не жить надо. The curtain rises on a scene With someone shouting to be free The play unfolds before my eyes us far from traffic telephones and fear put out your problems with the cat escape until a bell you hear our reasons in between our radio broadcasts, we went off to do a television interview with Patricia Glynn, who hosts an early evening show called Six on One. And here now, the Moody Blues on High Felt Stereo. White satin Never reaching the end Letters I've written Never meaning to send On the second day of our promotional visit, we travelled to South Africa's capital, Pretoria, to be interviewed on Jacaranda Radio. And then back to Johannesburg for our last radio interview before heading north to Baputa Tswana and Sun City. And you're having dinner at Sun City this evening, aren't you? That's right. Who are you having dinner with? <laughs> Do you want me to tell you yet? Well, well, one of the things that surprised not only me but the rest of the guys were uh, all the people who interviewed us and journalists and uh, DJs was the fact that they knew so much about the band and the history of the music and um, they'd either done their own work or uh, were long-time fans. the amazing aspects about Sun City is that it's a totally artificial environment built in an extinct volcano. Salk 
Kurtzner, the man who created the resort, imagined a holiday paradise that would appeal to all people, whether they wanted to gamble the night away or go for adventurous walks among the man-made trails.